Hello greasers, so I just got off of work, and lucky for me, I get off early, so about n noon 30, whatever, but it's really hot. The last two days were really hot, like 100 degrees here. You see this, this sweat shining on my forehead? Today's a nice reprival at only 91 degrees. But if there's a good thing about the heat is that uh, it helps your dough rise and all that stuff. So yeah, that's pizza dough. And I'm working on bagels too. Okay, dough is rising. Oh, there's the text. I'm waiting for my friend. I'm going to the movies. I'm gonna see Alien Covenant. Let me text him back. I almost called him Hook. Does anyone really call people anymore? Okay, hello. So, I've had some time to think about Aeon Isolation, especially since the next day, and I had time to think, put my thoughts together in my mind as I was walking home from work today. So, Aeon Isolation is very much an alien movie. I'm not entirely sure if I liked it more than other alien movies. It was formulaic. The one way I've heard it put is that Ridley Scott included all the things on the checklist of what makes an alien movie. So there's hypersleep, there's androids, there's xenomorphs, there's mechanical carnage, and it's all in there, whether or not it's relevant to progressing the plot or not. I really felt like the movie isn't really memorable. Even walking out of the theater with my friend yesterday, I couldn't recall most of the crew members' names. They sort of just showed up, or died, or just were in the background doing really stupid st stuff. And, and eventually dying because that's how it goes. As a standalone film, it's not a bad movie, but if you were to even remove the xenomorph entirely and replace it with something completely different, it could have been a film on its own rather than a sequel or prequel to the Alien series. Now that now that we're at, now that we're at the point where we've had both the the origin stories of the Alien and kind of the discovery stories of the alien in the original films with Sigourney Weaver, I think there's a kind of a void where they can either kind of create up original stories within that universe or even go further with, you know, the Sigourney Weaver timeline. But I think, uh, I mean, I've heard that uh, Ridley Scott wants to go on and create more and more and more movies because that's, that's just what he does, but I don't know. That guy's old. Hi. This is the great angle, isn't it? So if I sound like just an absolute garbage, it's because I have a cold now on top of my allergies. And then, if you're watching this video now, I haven't even edited the previous video that was supposed to go up. I might just even put these all together. But, so I ordered a chair, a new desk chair off Amazon, because I'm using this crappy one. And I'm going to clean up this whole desk area. First, let's clean the dust out of this guy, because that might be contributing to something with my allergies. I was a CPU fan. You know, all nice and covered in dust. Uh, heat sink, if I can get in there. Whoa, close of a dust. Crazy. Yeah, it's not... It's, I've seen worse, but... It's still summer, and this thing gets hot, no matter what. Surprise, surprise, it starts up all nice, and... No problems, because, you know, usually when I unplug my computer, if something, something happens and doesn't work right the next, when I try to plug everything back in, you know, computers. But, now look at that. You can see the pretty blue LEDs through there, not just having a coating of dust. It's good stuff. Chris and I reinstalling all my USB devices, because they're plugged in different ports. Weird stuff. Whatever. I have battery. I have battery. So, today is a new day. <coughs> I'm feeling sli slightly better. <coughs> <coughs> I'm okay. So, I ordered some things online and they're finally showing up. Like this. It's hard to see against the white backdrop, but here we go. This is like a floor mat that you put under a chair. And my battery's running out, so I gotta do this quickly and show you this. So, yeah, it would go under a chair. But since that plastic is kind of rigid, it didn't want to 
they wouldn't want to roll it up, so they sent it in this. This is the biggest box I've ever seen. I mean, it's it's laid flat, but that's what they shipped it to me in. It almost blocked me from getting out of my apartment here. But yeah, that's here, and I expect there's something else pretty soon, maybe. Is it here yet? may have accidentally skipped me putting this together, but I have a chair now. Uh, let's put it into place. Maybe somehow. I'm so sweaty. Hello. This is the product number if you want to see that. You probably can't. I have the screen in the wrong direction. It's made in Israel, so I'm supporting something. I don't know what I, it's supposed to be. Also, the sound is probably awful on this because I got the fan going right here, over here, this way. dining room chair for me oh god that's weird, weird popping sounds I don't like that we'll probably all settle together in time okay I think that's done I'm tired I need to take a shower <laughs> 